Howdy and welcome back. So in addition to sourcing uh, these videos on YouTube, you can also look at my SalesCast blog off of GitHub. And I was doing that, looking at episode 17, some comments, and a very smart viewer pointed out an issue with Activity Overlord. And I responded with something that was completely wrong and luckily was corrected and shown the errors of my ways, which we're gonna look at in just a second. The screencast is fixing this issue. For pointing that out, this very smart user made it into our user list as a chief bug finder. Okay, so to point this uh, issue out, I'm gonna actually sign out so I'm not an admin user and I'm gonna log in as Mr. Pawn and then I'm gonna go ahead and edit my profile. And as you can see here, Mr. Pawn is not an admin, at least not yet. I'm gonna copy these two lines and then I'm gonna inspect, I'm using the Chrome browser, this form. I'm gonna right click on the form, edit as HTML, and then I'm gonna paste our two lines of code. So now we have the admin checkbox. And you guessed it, when I press proceed, Mr. Pawn is now an admin. And this is not what we want. Mr. Pawn needs to continue as our humble servant. So how did this happen? Well, besides my stupidity, how did this happen and, and how can we fix it? So we're gonna go into our user controller and update action. And what's happening here is I'm passing in all the parameters that come in based upon this request. So rec params all is gonna take all the parameters. And I thought I had the protection of the user model. Only these fields will be passed to the database. And that is true. So if someone put in parameters other than name, title, email, encrypted password, online, or admin, those would not be passed to our database. Unfortunately, admin is one of those parameters that will be passed to the database, whether the person is admin or not. But there's an easy way to solve this. Let's go back to the controller. We just need to marshal those parameters into an object before it gets to our update method. And there's gonna be two conditions. The first is if rec.session.user.admin is true, that is if the user in this session that requested this update has admin equal to true, then we're gonna take the fields here, name, title, and email, and we're gonna marshal them into an object that we're gonna call user object. So name is going to be rec.param name, and title is gonna be rec.param title. Email is gonna be rec.param email. And since we know this user is an admin, we're gonna go ahead and pass admin into this object. Now, if they're not an admin, we're gonna create that same object, except this time, and I'm gonna just cut and paste this, and we're just gonna pass the name, title, and email. So we have this object, and instead of rec params all, we're gonna pass this user object in to our update method. And let's make sure this works. Back to our page, and I'm gonna edit Mr. Pond back to a non-admin. He is just a pawn now. Sign out. Let's go back in as Mr. Pawn. And we'll edit. And we're gonna do that same thing where we're gonna inspect the form. I'm gonna go grab these two lines from our edit.ejs, copy those, edit as HTML, plop those in. And we're gonna still get this user interface element, but it's not gonna matter because when I click proceed, only those three attributes that we wanted to go to the database are actually gonna happen. So Mr. Pawn, unfortunately for him, will remain a pawn. Now this isn't the only place that we need to marshal our parameters. We also need to do that with the sign up form. And I won't bore you, but you can go in and basically do the same thing. Inspect this form, copy and paste in those two fields, and someone can create an account as admin, but we can easily fix that the same way we did with the update method. So let's go back into the code and let's go to the create action. This time I'm gonna paste in some code and let's go over this. So our new.ejs form has a name, title, email, password, and confirmation. So in the user controller, we have 
name, title, email, password, and confirmation. And all we need to do now is replace rec params all with our user object. And we can go back and test this really quickly. Let's restart the server. And I'm gonna go to sign up. I'm gonna go back. And I'm gonna go ahead and again copy these two fields out of the edit EJS file. We'll edit as HTML on this form. Paste in those two fields. We have admin here, but despite having the admin checkbox, when I go to create the user, bad guy is just a pawn because like our update action, we've marshaled that data so that only name, title, email, password, and the confirmation is being passed out of this controller. So now I definitely understand the uh, importance of marshaling your request parameters, and hopefully that makes it clear on how to do so. Thanks, as always, for watching.